Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video I am once again taking a look at one of your designs that you have linked me in the comments section of one of my videos. And for today I have chosen the SDHF-01 Stingray Heavy Fighter which is this thing right here. Now as I was going through the list of different items that have been submitted to me this one really caught my eye because of the colour pattern and the way it's been set out. So this is it at the very front. If I was to tilt all the way up, you can see how the little pattern of the sloped armour blocks have been sort of alternated between lower and slightly higher to cover those Gatling guns up. And it's just a bit of a mishmash that really works with the yellow and blue colouring. And before I go any further, I just wanted to let you know because I saw a few comments that no, I don't know Halo. The only time I've actually played it was the first game for about three hours and that's about it. So that's why I don't really recognise anything from those games, in case you're wondering. But back to the topic at hand, I'm just going to press F10 and find the Stingray. There it is. This ship weighs in at 1,480 small blocks. We've got eight Gatling guns and one reloadable rocket launcher to blast your enemies. And I am hoping that one of the enemies might actually just pop up because I am in a star system. There was a mayday, but I'm just waiting for a ship to come by and then we'll go blast them. So at the very front, we've got our fighter cockpit that has been sort of encased by heavy armoured block. Now, heavy armoured blocks are the only type of blocks you're going to find on this ship. So it's going to be pretty bulky against Gatling turrets and vanilla weaponry. But if you're going up against a beam weapon, then just kiss your ship goodbye, because nothing is going to protect you from them. Anyway, below the cockpit and below these lovely yellow and blue blocks, we've got two spotlights that have been half covered up by a half slope block. Behind there, we can see we've got some hydrogen thrusters. Now, this is kind of the big problem with this ship, is its stopping time. We use both hydrogen and ion thrusters, but the thrusters that are going to help you break are a bit lacking so we've got two on both sides and if i was to come sneakily inside the ship we can see we've got a ion thruster there just to help you stop but it's not really enough in order to do some type maneuvering to the left and the right of the cockpit we've got some gatling guns so there's them right there and then on the opposite side there are them if i drop down and come underneath we've got a reloadable rocket launcher to blast your enemies yes so we've covered up the very center of them with some steel blocks, but they can still fire quite well. Moving around the side, we've got our first little pincer part, which is these yellow blocks that go all the way along. They also have this weird little ramming spike that sort of comes off to ensure you do maximum damage if you were to go head first straight into an enemy. And in the very center of these little pincer parts, we've got some Gatling guns. Yes, we've got quite a few Gatling guns on this ship, so that is our main form of weaponry. As for that, we can just keep going around to see more and more of these lovely block works of all the sloped and the corner slope blocks going in every which way direction. Coming on the side, we've got a nice glowing light. It's a very green glowy light that I quite like the look of. The colouring is quite nice against the side of the ship. Then as we come down, we've got another Gatling gun hidden on this very side wing. And then moving around the side, we just got a lot more blocks. If I was to drop down under the swing, we can see some more ion thrusters just to keep us going up and down. And as we come further underneath the main body, we got some more hydrogen thrusters just to help us go up. And that's it on the other side. Moving towards the back of the ship, we can see some more thrusters and a battery. That battery is in a kind of a weird spot, actually. It's very open and could easily be damaged, but then again, you should be moving quite fast with the ship, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem. At the very back of the ship, we've got our connector with our main forward thrust. So we've got four large ion thrusters and four small hydrogen thrusters to push us along with a connector to connect yourself up to a ship. Now, if you were to connect up to a ship, it's a very good idea to disable those ion thrusters or the person you're trying to connect up to is going to be quite unhappy with the damage blocks around their connector. Above that, we've got a little overhanging of the heavy arm blocks just to give you a little bit of protection from the top there like that and then along the top we still got some more fancy block work with a few more thrusters there so there's two more hydrogen we got some ions on the side and we've got two red lights at the very back now if we take a sneaky look inside here 
We can see some more ion thrusters for the left and the right, so there's another big one. And then on the opposite side, again, we've got another big one. And as for that, that is all we can see on the outside. It does look rather great, especially from a distance if I turn off my light. It's got a quite a nice design to it. Although I am a sucker for any ships that have their sort of wings going forwards in front of the cockpit. So now it's time for me to take control of my character by pressing F6 and see what this thing has to offer. So number one is our Gatling guns. Number two is our reloadable rocket launcher at the bottom, which we can just turn on and off and it will automatically start firing. Number three is quite a nice projector block, which gives you a reticule. So if you're playing a game like me and you don't have your crosshair turned on, you can use that to sort of roughly aim where you want to go. So we just shoot that and blast it. Number five is to turn off the hydrogen thrusters because we're in space. We don't really need them. We could just rely on those ion thrusters but if you're going near a planet or perhaps you're flying around the moon then it might be a good idea to have them turned on now i saw you over there i will come and get you anyway number six is the spotlights at the front so if i tilt like this and press six we get two little spotlights and number seven are the lights that go all the way around the outside if i turn on my hud and press number seven there we are it just turns off all the lights around the ship and that is it for its functionality and its looks. It does look rather fancy, doesn't it? And I'll just press number I. Number I? No, I'll press I and just come through all this. So we can see we've got a nice lot of ammunition here that you spawn with. Some missiles. We've got some H2O2 generators. But I don't see any. Do we have any hydrogen tanks? No, we don't have any hydrogen tanks on this. It's just O2 H2 generators, which is just going to burn through all the ice and give you your thrust. We got our one reloadable rocket launcher, plenty of batteries, some corner lights, decoys in there if you really need it. So we've got some of them which will be hidden on, I believe they're hidden on the wings. There, I saw you. There are the Gatling guns. And we've got our projector for the gun sight. And we've got a fair few gyroscopes to make sure we're quite agile when turning the mouse. And a lot of thrusters to push you along. So a quick thruster test while waiting for those enemies to reappear. In fact, I'll put them onto the full display so I can see where they are. Going forwards, this is the speed we're getting. I saw you, you're over there somewhere. Yes, we're quite fast going forwards for a heavy ship, but this is the stopping speed. It's quite lackluster, so you would need to spin yourself around and stop yourself like that. And there we go. Let me just turn myself facing this way, wherever that signal was coming from. There it is, I see it right in front of me. Going left is quite good. And then going right, again, is really good. Going backwards, going backwards is actually quite good. But it does seem to be a problem of stopping once you've got a lot of speed going because of your sheer weight. Going down is slower than the rest, but not too bad. And going up is pretty decent as well. So now what we're going to do is put my little projector on and it was somewhere in that area over there. I can see it. I see you over there. Yeah. So we're going to go straight forwards towards this Mayday signal and blast them with the Gatling guns. So we'll just go max speed and then try stopping one more time. So stopping. Yeah, it does leave quite a lot to be desired. And I did forget to wiggle my mouse around. And yes, it's quite responsive. It does have a tiny bit of weight to it, which is really nice. Oh, and I appear to have hit something on one of the wings. Let's just ignore that. But yes, it does have quite some good response when moving the mouse around. Compared to the last ship I did. So let's just keep going. We've got some nice smoke coming out there. I wonder if that is deliberate. Deliberately made, but still, it looks great like that. So we're now coming up to our target that we can put our crosshair on. In fact, I will just come like this. Let's just check the Gatling guns. There we are. And we should be in getting a bit closer to this. We can sort of see it. Oh, there's another Mayday signal over there. Another Mayday signal over there. And we've got a Mayday signal. Oh, something has shot us, I believe. Or something has blown up in the ship. 
So here it is, the enemy ship. It could be an enemy ship, I don't know. But let's just shoot all the Gatling guns into it. I'll do a small little drive-by. Get some rockets in there. In fact, I think that might have been a friendly ship. So there we are, that's it all firing like that. We've got our reloadable rocket launcher, which does sort of curve around a little bit. I've never noticed that before. I just give you a... Ooh! That must have been a hydrogen tank and a half. Let's just keep going like that. Ignore the sirens outside. There's always a lot of police around here. Yes, yeah, so we just keep blasting this away. And doing a lot of good work. I'm just going to keep shooting into this. I don't think they had any turrets on them. No, it doesn't look like they had any turrets on them. I don't even think this was a pirate ship. Well, that was a turret over there. Let's just turn off the rocket and keep firing into it. Right, no, I want the turret on. There we go. The projector is wibbling and wobbling around. Oh, it's shaking. Oh, I think I actually... Something did shoot back at me then. But there goes that. We're just going to keep destroying this. Take that gyroscope. Oof. Very satisfying shooting these things. And there's a thruster right there. Ooh, batteries, they always make a nice explosion. And that is kind of dead. So now I need to have another enemy to go and shoot. And to finish off this video, I've came over to another space pirate melee. I've colored this ship into a hideous glamour paint color. And we're going to say hello to these by shooting and then ramming ourselves into them. Oof. That sounded really good. And then, spoosh. Well, that was actually quite impressive. Hmm. I wasn't expecting that to happen. I was expecting it to blow up so I could end the video. But it turns out that I'm going to have to actually ram them again by coming in with the rockets. There we go. That's more like it. We have successfully entered the enemy ship infiltrated them from the outside. They will never know that we are on the interior of their ship. Nope, never. Anyway, that is the SDHF-01 Stingray Heavy Fighter. It will be in the description below if you wish to download and try it yourself. I highly recommend you do because it does look great and it is a bit of fun to play around with. So thank you all for watching and I'll be back with another video sometime soon. Bye bye.